Hey guys, it's Go Nintendo Nightly for April 30th, 2012. I'm Rami Cowboy. We're back for the second week of Go Nintendo Nightly. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support you've given so far, all the subscriptions on the YouTube channel, all the tweets, and all that good stuff. You've had some really great things to say, and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Uh, so let's get this second week started, shall we? I'm going to be bringing you the best, worst, and weirdest news from today, including a story about you guys. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm going to decide it as the show's going on. I'd also like to say thank you to reader and artist Poopaloop, who's been over at Go Nintendo for a while now, and he's been making us podcast images every week, and he's also working on an intro for this show. I don't know if he's going to be happy that I'm showing this or not, but he had a little test animation that he sent my way that got me more than excited about what he's going to present as a finished product. So his test project is going to be today's intro, so check this out. I have such a huge amount of respect for people that do animation and artwork and stuff like that. It's not a talent that I have, but uh, I, it, which makes me able to appreciate their stuff even more. So thank you, Poopaloo, for that hard work. I'm really looking forward to the finished product. And while we wait for that to come along, I'm sure this week will be filled with a few more 80s and 90s sitcoms that I ruined with my terrible special effects. But you guys have had some nice comments about those, so thank you. It seems that you like the low-budget approach, and that's all I can do. So look forward to a few more of those. But for now, let's get to the best story of the day in my opinion. On the Thursday episode of Go Nintendo Nightly from last week, we talked a little bit about Nintendo taking their first party titles digital, with New Super Mario Bros. 2 being the first title that they're going to offer both retail and digital at the same time. This led a lot of people to thinking that Nintendo might offer the same for third parties. While Nintendo didn't make a statement at the time, they did actually provide one today, which is surprising. I thought we'd have to wait until E3 to get more of this information, but a Nintendo rep provided the following statement. We are currently preparing a program for third parties, but have nothing specific to announce at this time. We know that this digital initiative is going to start first on the 3DS, but Nintendo has also said that there will be digital content day one for the Wii U whenever that launches. So if there's going to be digital content for the Wii U on day one, you would think that both Nintendo and third parties would be able to offer something. Will there actually be retail titles like Darksiders 2 or stuff like that provided on whatever the Wii U shop is day one? I don't know, but we'll see what third parties have to say at E3. Maybe they'll be able to talk a little bit about it more. We don't know what Nintendo's going to talk about during their E3 press conference, but I'm sure that'll be a discussion that many people want to have with Nintendo, and hopefully some more information will come out. Whenever we can talk about third-party support in Nintendo platforms in a positive way, that's got to be my top story. We know that Nintendo always likes to say that they're going to bring third-party support to their systems, but usually things don't pan out as they want. But hearing such strong third-party discussions before the Wii U even comes out, that makes me very positive about the future. Unfortunately, our worst story of the day has something to do with a third party that isn't going to be able to provide a title as they thought they would. I think many would agree that the last most notable WiiWare title that came out would be Moto Heroes, which comes from the same developer as Trials Evolution and Trials HD. But we're all waiting for the next big WiiWare game, and one of those games that was slated to come out this year was La Mulana, which was being published by Nicholas. We heard this title announced a long time ago, and it's been in development for quite some time. When we first heard about it and saw some trailers and blog posts, things seemed to be going well, but then time dragged on and there wasn't a lot of talk about the game, which is making some people worry. Unfortunately, today we found out that we had good reason to worry. Publisher Nicholas took to Twitter today to give us a status update on La Mulana, but it's not the status update we wanted to hear. The statement was, Regarding La Mulana, we have chosen to cancel publishing in North America and Europe for WiiWare. This led to a rash of comments on Twitter asking why the game was canceled after this long wait, and Nicholas responded by saying, We've waited too. We're sorry to have to announce, but we've waited for them to finish the game for over two years. He re he's talking about Nigoro, the company that's making the game. So Nicholas is obviously saying that they thought the game was coming along, but for whatever reasons it wasn't able to see release, and they decided to cancel it while they're ahead of the game. I was able to reach out to Nicholas's Tyrone Rodriguez for an official statement on just what happened here. Mr. Rodriguez says, The decision to cancel publishing of La Mulana was a tough call, but waiting two years for Nigoro to finish development has made it near impossible to sell sufficient units on Wii. The WiiWare market has a fraction of the players from 2008. The window for release and success of software on the platform ended in 2009 and took a very steep decline. Players have moved on to other digital download platforms. 
Lavalana was originally developed without DLC in mind, and I think being their first console project that Nigoro got a bit ahead of themselves and spent two years agonizing on getting the DLC sort of working for Japan. Unfortunately, it never passed Nintendo's submission process in the US or Europe with DLC in place, as the publisher were responsible for various things, but development, which includes programming, art, music, and design, is and always has been in the hands of the developer. With the Wii U in the not too distant future and WiiWare sales almost non-existent, I had to make a call today. I wish them the best. They're good game developers and good guys. As I already said, there's quite a discussion about this going on on Twitter, and there's actually a lot of game developers that are coming to the side of Nicholas saying that if the game's not ready, the game's not ready. It's not the publisher's fault. They, they can't only force the developer to work so hard. So. You should actually check out the links and we'll provide them for Twitter accounts and all that stuff so you can keep an eye on the conversation to see who's weighing in on the situation. I'd love to brighten things up after that story with a bit of a weird and goofy story for you guys, but I don't have something like that. I have something weird in a sense of I can't believe this actually existed at one point and didn't actually see the light of day. That image you're looking at right now is probably noticeable as Samus Aran, but in a very unusual style. This piece of art actually comes from a Nintendo Software Technology Studio employee, and it was part of his online portfolio or resume, whatever you want to call it. Now, you and I both know that this piece of art never had anything to do with any Metroid game out there, which is leading some people to think that there were perhaps a game in development that had this sort of style for the Metroid series, which would be pretty weird compared to what else is out there for the series. There are a lot more images like this style that you can check out in the link that we've provided, and it gives us a weird look at what could have been for Metroid at one point, possibly. I'm sure that Metroid artwork will have you guys talking for quite some time, but I wanted to include what you've been talking about the most today in today's Go Nintendo Nightly. We've already looked at what you thought was the worst and the best from last week, but today I wanted to see what you guys are talking about the most. The story that had you guys talking the most today was actually about a price for the Wii U over at Walmart. Someone found a Google listing for a Walmart price for the Wii U, which puts the Wii U at $350. I want to make sure you guys know that this is not a confirmed price for the system, but the reason why this is worth talking about is because back when the Wii was just announced but not priced, Walmart had a price of $250. As you guys know, that turned out to be the actual price when the system launched. So some are thinking that maybe $350 is going to end up being the price for the Wii U. We're not going to find out at E3, but we'll find out a few months before the Wii U releases. Reader Roth had the first comment, so I'm going to read his comment in full. He says, Hmm, seems about right considering the Wii U hardware specs. I feel like they're going the same way they did with the 3DS. People expected the 3DS launch price to be $200, but Nintendo added 50 bucks to that. People expect Wii U to be $300, so now it looks like they're adding 50 bucks to that too. They definitely don't want to sell a console at a loss, so we'll just consider this for the time being. As we've stated before, analyst Michael Pachter has said that if the Wii U is over $250, Nintendo's going to be doomed, so this $100 plus price tag is going to surely hurt Nintendo, if he's to be believed. We had a best, we had a worst, we had a weirdest, we had comments from you guys. It doesn't get any better than that, because that's what this show's about. I hope you enjoyed this Monday edition of Go Nintendo Nightly for April 30th, 2012. I'll be back tomorrow with three more stories plus something from you guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please rate, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tweet about it, put it on Facebook, any social media, anything you want to do. Tell people it sucks, tell people you love it, whatever. Just talk about it. Thank you very much for your support, and I'm going to end the show with another special clip. Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step, and then again, let's do the Mario all together now. Side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. Come on now, just like that. They did confirm that some sort of project is in the works for third parties. And hopefully that'll be along the wall. I mean... Labulana has been in development for quite some time, and things went quiet a while after you... Uh, 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 uh,
like her. <laughs>